My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spire for the Daily Challenge of the 12th of April 2020. The character is the Watcher, again. And the modifiers are all stars, start with five colors cards. Hoarder, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant. And then Night Terror's Resting Rest Sites heals 100% of your max HP, but costs five. What do we get? Are we gonna get five copies of each of these? The bombs are really bad. Oh, we did. Sorry, uh, three copies of each. Do I want to run like a super defensive bomb deck? Seems to be incentivized here. This path has two midline rests, three, four, four question marks versus two midline rests, one shop, three early, four early question marks actually. Both of them have two elites, hence being the ones that are actually considering there. Uh, bowling bash, three copies of. Yeah. We need to get at least one of these bombs out of the deck. We can't, we can't have all of those. Three copies of doubt. All right. Guess if we are going defensive, so what are we going to upgrade here? We could remove a doubt right now because we can't remove cards at the merchant. So yeah, I'll remove a doubt because next time we get a curse, we'll get three copies of that curse, which is cursed already complete for us. Hmm. Unplayable curse cards can now be played. When we play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust it. That is very appealing here. I'll take it. So now I have the ability to take basically every curse that I get offered. I guess I'll upgrade a bomb for the sake of the elites we're about to be fighting. Oh, it's great for this elite. Secret technique out the upgraded bomb. Bomb. Defend, Panacea, Miracle, Defend. So literally, I just need a bunch of defense this turn. Game. I don't have that much defense actually even left in the deck, but... That's basically as defensive as the turn can really get for us. Take a Panacea out of the deck. And then it's at the end of this turn, so yeah, just end my turn, kill all enemies. Uh, Blood Pilot, the start of your combat, gain two HP. Ooh, spirit shields. Spirit shield is a great defensive card. Eruption on you, bowling bash for the backliner. Talk to the hands. Multiple copies of that is really good. Give me another bone. Basically, I'm just looking for, at this point, it looks like I'm looking for Mind Blast. I'd love to see it, though. Okay, what are we going to take out of this deck at this point? Probably Bomb, Panacea, and another Panacea. Not that they'll do anything here, but now I won't draw into them. Beautiful. Three wallops? Sure. That's more talk to the hands. Do you like that? The collector's bonus on those. There's also gain, uh, study to combat with one artifact. Eh. Every three turns, gain in energy is actually also really appealing. With the bombs in the deck. Take to the talk to the hand first, though. I'm gonna take follow up as well, actually. Very, very much just trying to dilute out these bombs in the deck at this point. I don't think I want to go heavily defensive. I think I want to go heavily aggressive. Use the talk to the hands to defend myself. It's a reasonable thing to try and go for, I think. Eruption, follow up. Big wallop. That'll work. Hmm. 
Not really all the block I was hoping to get that turn, but it's, it's fine. As long as I get the kill here. Weave Fasting Flying Sleeves. Definitely can't take three copies of Fasting. Flying Sleeves is a good way to trio my Talk to the Hands. Talk to the hand, talk to the hand, flying sleeves. Let's get a secret technique out here for a panacea. And I'll even play the bowling bash this turn. Beautiful. This is what I'm trying to get the deck to be able to do. Play the top three cards here. Just so I can try and get a perfect. Can I actually use an eruption at that point. Got enough defense. Alright. Captain's Wheel at the start of your third turn. Gain 18 block. Sands of Time, third eye protect. Sands of Time's are nice. I think I take the third eye here though. Cycle past a lot of the garbage cards that I have in the deck. And I'm going to upgrade all the talk to the hands as quickly as I possibly can here. So what am I looking for right now? Panacea, I guess. Just another Panacea. It's third eye to try and give myself a better defensive next hand. Set up a bomb. Spirit Shield is 15. Yeah, it's not going to be enough block, but... It basically never was going to be. Unless I took a lot of damage in an earlier fight, which I just keep forgetting to do, dang it! Sure, let's just get another bomb out there. There we go. This is the hand we were looking for the entire time. Talk to those hands. Ragnarok would be a decent pickup after this. Yeah, getting 84 block just out of striking the enemy, to me, seems pretty good, you know? In fact, at that point, I think I can basically just stay in Wrath the entire time. Certainly was almost enough for that turn. Alright. Attack potion, choose one of three random attacks. Eh, don't really need that. Uh, judgment? I'm not retaining many cards right now, so judgment if I take anything here. Might as well. Retain cards in hand. That'll make the spirit shields a lot better, but the thing is, like, I need extra energy to actually be able to cast enough cards for that to be worth, like, not to overfill my hand constantly. Uh, I don't have that yet. I'm going to take the Holy Water. It gives me three miracles in my start hand, which actually makes the Spirit Shields much better defense for us. Because we have more cards retained in hand at the time that we actually draw and play it. Okay. Bomb Defend Panacea then. If I'm going to be going with the Bomb, then I'm going to be going with the Bomb. Scene, pull out another Panacea, just because it's useless later. And then next turn they both die. Tantrum is a huge pickup for us. It's a multi-hit as well as a Wrath Enabler. So it's very, very good with the, the Talks of the Hand kind of defensive build. I'm gonna take a judgment and just kill one of you. I can't have both of them get more powerful and then try and defend against all of that next turn. It's just not gonna work that well. Okay. You can go to the ground. 
You do. And the end of this turn, that dies. Or I might just judge it instead, just because I really like the animation for judgment. Took the flying sleeves there, getting us a uh, collector's bonus officially. Uh, I'm going to dupe a talk to the hand, getting me three more of those as well. So this is supposed to be like a talk to the hand tantrum build, basically. Let's see how well that works. So far, promising. Extremely promising. We have too many judgments in this deck at this point, I think. There you go. Good kill. Liquid Memories, as well as Wreath of Flame. We're going to put a lot of multi-strikes in this deck, so Wreath of Flame is a good way for them to de deal damage. I'm actually going to set up a bomb this turn. It's going to take long enough to kill the Chosen in the back line that it'll be worthwhile. Now, give me a Panacea. Frontline is already dead to the bomb. What's the hand? Tantrum. I'll miracle out a wallop. And that'll kill both of you. I mean, the bombs are still doing pretty well. Crush joints, pre upgraded, baby. Seems good to me. I don't want to go to the rest. I want to go to the shop after this. Got to make sure that I keep that in mind. Don't want to make the same mistake I made before again. Thank you for not attacking this turn. Another summon. Only one of those actually attacks this turn, but I'm already defended against this damage, so... I mean, actually, never mind. If I have the kill, I may as well just go for it rather than wait for the bomb to go off. Vajra for a point of strength. Love it. Uh, definitely flying sleeves there. Omniscience. Omniscience, omniscience, omniscience. If I get one, I get to play multiple. You just take omniscience in a deck like this. You just have to. Uh, every time we play 10 attacks, gain an energy. That also seems really good for us, actually. I'm playing a heck of a lot of them. Spirit Shield's going to be good for the next hand. I guess I'll just pass over the rest, though. Spirit Shield will be great for this hand because I'm retaining so many cards. So it's 24 block by itself. Not that we needed 24 block, but it is. Uh, nah. Shouldn't have played the Wallop first. Didn't even play a Wallop. Shouldn't have played the Spirit Shield first because then I would have been able to be on this scene's chain. Now I can Omniscience chain two of them. So I get to play two cards twice. Let's go. Double talk to the hand, I think. Sorry, quadruple talk to the hand. Let's miracle out a tantrum. I mean, it's working. Get him. Sundial, every three times you shuffle your draw pile. Yeah, that's never going to trigger. Cut through fate for the draw? Okay. If nothing else, it's another card to get a collector's bonus on later. Potions now always appear as combat rewards. Actually, let's Secret Technique out a Spirit Shields. 
I should have done that at the start of the turn. That's my bad. Nissian's plays on Nissian's plays on Nissian. So now I have three that I get to duplicate the effect of here. So let's go. Double Wreath of Flame. Double Wreath of Flame. Double Tantrum. Hey, more Wreaths of Flame. That's collector's bonus for us. Important upgrades still include all the talk to the hands. I mean, the Omniscience I'd be able to play without using an extra energy from my pure waters if I upgraded them, but I don't think it's necessary to be honest. Now I'll have to do it. Talk, 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 miracle, flying sleeves, more talk. And this should be easy to wrap up past this point, because basically you just talk to the hand until the enemy is dead. I like the Omniscience chaining for the Wreath of Flames and then the Tantrum to pay off the damage. I may need one of the tantrums upgraded for the sake of that, actually. More wreaths of flame? I think that's probably too much at that point. Block potion, though. That could be useful in a boss fight. Just go with the one that I'm more likely to win there. Pretty much every time, in fact. Secret technique pulls out a... Ooh, omniscience? Yeah, let's try that. Omniscience chaining on turn one. What am I going to do with it, even? Let's double play the spirit. Double play an upgraded bomb. And also, let's double play a third eye. Just so I can curate my next hand a lot better. That'll be fine. So my only goal at this point is just live for two more turns. And that's all it has to be. Beautiful. I mean, Omniscience chaining out bombs is pretty good. Crush choice, collector's bonus now. Speed Potion actually would have been useful because of the amount of, uh, I didn't think about it, but the amount of Panaceas I have in the deck. And the fact that the Secret Techniques just draw them for me. Get one of the Tantrums upgraded, so if I use it in Chaining Omniscience, uh, it's much better off. Very cool. Crush. Twice. That was wrong, obviously. Thank heck I have this turn to clear it up for me. Omniscience, Omniscience. Okay, so. If I double play Wreath of Flame, I'm getting 32, 32 damage per hit on my next strike. And then uh, the first Tantrum will deal 32, 35, 35, 4, 35 with weakness is 17, 17 on top. It's not 17. No, it is 17. It's 17 on top of that. So it's, uh, 52 by 4. It's just under 200. Mm hmm. As I expected, it may be. Play the next three. All good. Kill him. Lesson learned? No, it's the Spirit Shield. The deck is so thick that Lesson learned at this point doesn't make an appreciable difference. Ooh! 
Starting to combat confused, draw two additional cards each turn. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of expensive cards in this deck, and that'll make the... Uh, that'll make the... What are they called again? Spirit Shield's much more valuable because I'm drawing two additional cards. There we go. That's the Spirit Shield. The blocks is 27 by itself. 16, 11. That's literally all of the damage the enemies are doing this turn as well. Secret technique out a Omniscience. I'm going to double Miracle to play Omniscience, Omniscience, Omniscience here. Let's double play a Spirit Shield for the sake of our own defense. And... Double talk to the hand, double talk to the hand. Just give myself some block, I guess. This is 40 damage to everyone. Dang. It's a worse bomb than I thought it was. Thankfully, we don't need the best bomb for it. Wallop is a collector bonus for us now. Sure. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. All cards. Yes, please. 50% discount on all products at this point. Yeah, I just passed over. I am uh, I am rich, so probably not. Swivel does make attacks in my hand cost nothing. It itself is also like a really good card to randomize the cost of. Start each combat with additional energy. Yeah, first turn energy is useful for us as well. Hands, hands. I'm gonna miracle out of crush joints. Get another talk to the hand out now. Alright. You should be good now. Mm, blank sleeves will do it. Goodbye, enemy. Hello to the Flex Potion, which uh, I'm not going to make the same mistake again. I know that I get to keep the damage from that. Uh, none of those are really good with the Snacker. Don't need those potions. Thank you. Crush joints out there. Start throwing hands. All hands throwing hands. And I'll get myself a Wreath of Flame for later. Attack. It's using a wallop to get a bunch of defense. Seems right to me. So thankfully I'm not weakened yet. Dang, now I will be. I was really hoping to get to my omnisciences before I started getting weakened. Oh, hello, omniscience. Good to see you, I guess. I think what I'm going to do here is double bomb, double bomb, double bomb. That's 300 damage eventually. Let's make it 350. So now my whole goal is literally to defend. Spirit Shield will do the most of that for me, and then that's the rest of it. Could have made the enemy vulnerable if I played it at the right time there. That's my bad. Okay. That seems like a pretty good turn. Tori, whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one, as well as... Sanctity, maybe? Okay. Sanctity pre-upgraded is still pretty good, even despite the Snack Away. Provides draw, which is also good with the Snack Away. I'm gonna make sure that I got some artifact here, so I can't just get completely ruined by this boss. Let's 
through all of those. I'm looking for damage now. Let's follow up. Another talk to the hands. Miracle out of Wreath of Flame. Yes, Flying Sleeves is pretty good next turn still. No, it's Tantrum, definitely. Another Flex Potion, that's huge. Uh, we'll take that. Crush Joints. Foreign Influence. Foreign Influence, if it randomizes the cost to anything other than zero, is, is still not great for us. Actually, we need to sort A to Z before we... Okay, we do have enough Crush Joints in the deck already. Another one? No, we have enough. We have enough. Secret technique out a omniscience. Actually, I was thinking of getting a bomb, but this will this will work better. Omniscience, 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 and then judgment, judgment, judgment. Get him. <laughs> Great way of ending that fight. Follow up is. Uh, do we have a collector's bonus for that yet? No. Toxic egg. Whenever your skill cards to your deck upgrade it. Yeah, a bit late. Wish? Three copies of Wish? Way too late for that. I'm taking three copies of Wheel Kick for the sake of getting some draw. One would be three turns this turn, two turns next turn, one turn the turn after I end my turn. Actually, the bomb would work. Right? It decrements to two. You have this turn. Spirit shield. Decrements to one. And then next turn, at the end of the turn, it goes off. Okay, cool. Yeah, it worked out. And I won't even need it, in fact. Anchor, started to come back with 10 block. Huge pickup for us right there. Got through fade as another collector's bonus. Yeah, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be anywhere for the scores here, but we did run a very, very janky kind of deck, so I kind of understand it. And there's the omnis. Oh, I got two omnis on the same hand. Really? All right, this one is definitely just play talk to the hands with it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, two different ways every time we hit this enemy we're being defended. That's fine. There's no need to go for the kill here. Not at all, not even slightly. Beautiful. Vulnerability in a potion. I'm fine, thank you, but a little bit appealing there. I think the six crush are enough for us right now. Oh, mess of damage out of that. Ooh, that's a good hand next hand, actually. I'm not going to mess with it. Just don't make them all high cost, please. It's fine. Talk to the hands. I will... Follow up. Follow up. A wreath of flame. Swivel. Yeah, 45 is enough damage here. I gotta throw it. Okay. 
We should be good here. Miracle out the crushed joints. And yeah, that'll be enough. Beautiful. Goodbye, giant head. I'm just waiting for this final fight so I can deploy these potions. Whenever you scry, scry two additional cards is neat. Yeah, palm potion is probably not necessary here. I still need another curse for this deck, so I'm really relying on you providing that for me, friend, pal, buddy. So I'll get a Panacea out of the deck for myself. Come on. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. At least now I know there's that's still in the deck as a possibility. There we go. We'll get three copies of Parasite there, getting us our Curses bonus. Unfortunately, I didn't really have much there, which had multi-strikes on it. It's a good next hand, though. All right, hit me, I guess. God, was it a good next hand? I thought it was. Ether Flame, Miracle out the Tantrum. Yeah, never mind, it was. Well, fire potion, don't need it. Sanctity is a collector's bonus for us now. Final collector's bonus we'll get. Uh, sure, rest here. Yeah, upgrading any of those is so minimal, so I might as well rest for nothing anyway. I definitely shouldn't have rested there. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. Um. I'm going to knock down both of those and then play the Panacea, which will remove the Strength Down debuff at the end of the turn when it tries to trigger. I'm going to return the Wheel Kick. I'm looking to try and defend myself for full this turn. My god, really? Couldn't draw a single defensive card. I know I put some of them in the deck somewhere. Could have sworn it. Yeah, it's gonna leave me just short. Ah well, it happens. Okay, let's throw. Eruption there, murder the backliner, start on you. I don't need to get another bomb out at this point. Way too slow for us. Actually, I don't want any of those. It's something more aggressive, ideally. As long as we defend enough on that turn, though. Not too much you can do. Judge him. I mean, you knew I had to finish off the fight with another judgment. 1457. It's okay. Encyclopedian, Curses, one perfect, couple champions, just got over money, money. 10 copies of Collector. I probably could have ended up with 14 copies of Collector if I was aiming towards that the entire run. Hey, very bottom of the first page. I'll take it. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slide the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.